to my YouTube channel. We are going to be starting the series on uh, .NET programming, specifically VB.NET, and we are going to be using Visual Studio 2019, and we are going to start with basic concepts and then some advanced topics in uh, VB.NET. So let's get started. .NET, and I'm following right now the book Visual Basic .NET Programming uh, by Harold Davis, and. Uh, I am going to tell you about .NET, uh, basically why it's called a framework because it has um, a variety of built-in libraries and supports many languages and um, dotnet uh, had been used to mean that the dotnet framework is a runtime framework and a programming framework which has many class libraries and um, it includes video, video, uh, visual studio dotnet uh, professional ide um, which is optimized to work with dotnet languages uh, with bb dotnet c sharp dotnet as well as um, for uh, pro uh, developing a web pages um, and languages such as ASP.NET and basically it consists of uh, servers um, such as BizTalk, Exchange Server, Mobile Information Server, SQL Server um, which uh, gives .NET uh, a very um, a powerful advantage and uh, basically um, it has uh, you can schedule uh, some information in it you can create libraries different applications different type of applications console applications mm, form application windows applications and so on and it is a, a language independent way of uh, programming and here you can see that the dotnet framework basically uh, it consists of two parts uh, the common language runtime and the dotnet framework uh, formal language runtime is a platform that manages code execution and it would be uh, discussed in detail um, uh, later and you can see that uh, the .NET framework uh, supports a lot of class libraries and this is the basic um, figure 1.1 which is telling you about initially we have a development environment and inside that we have visual studio .net and it comprises of uh, the compiled project and libraries and all that and here comes the main part which is known as the um, common language runtime and this is actually the .net framework which we will talk about later and it is connected with the um, the operating system and basically it's a, a cycle the operating system sends information to the development environment and uh, vice versa. So this framework basically has um, an IDE, uh, class libraries and compiled projects and common language runtime. We will be talking about common language runtime. Common language runtime basically manages the execution of compiled .NET programs. As I have told you that uh, um, basically .NET supports so many languages and so many programs and li uh, libraries. So uh, that means that for each uh, type of language we need um, different compiler. But the uh, purpose of common language runtime is basically as that of virtual machine in Java and VB runtime in that all .NET language, uh, languages are compiled by the CLR in runtime. So its job is to execute and manage all code written in any language and that has um, the platform used uh, by .NET. So, in short, we can say that the common language runtime is basically a platform that would run uh, the code written in any language. So, that's uh, one of the features that means it's platform independent. So, you don't have to worry about a platform and all that. When um, you write an application in .NET, you can choose from a number of languages. For example, VB, C Sharp and um, uh, ASP.NET. You can also build um, certain applications using certain language such as you can use uh, previous uh, some old languages like COBOL, pa COBOL, Pascal and Java. Each of these language will include its own compiler and instead of compiling into machine language as compilers typically do, the language specific just in time compiler translate the whole code which is uh, whether in VB or C sharp or any other language into another language which is known as Microsoft Intermediate Language and this IL Intermediate Language is what you actually deploy and execute. So when this whole code is executed, um, the CLR then uses another compiler to turn this IL into machine code that is specific to a particular platform. So in other words, the CLR basically compiles your program, a program into an intermediate language and then uh, into one uh, 
thing on a machine that runs on processor and into something that uh, runs on um, any pentium um, machine it means that uh, uh, the clr it can run on any platform whether uh, it's pentium whether it's um, a dell processor or anything so this is um, a platform independent feature which uh, helps many program to run uh, smoothly without any issue and this is actually the main aspect of our uh, dotnet uh,